with Coach Hav. I love him so much. Oh, my team. Oh, thank you. Today, I want to say, this, it was my last fight. And no way I'm going to come here without my father. It was first time when, uh, after what happened with my father, when UFC called me about Justin, I talked with my father, th my, my mother, three days. She don't want to go fight without father, but I promise her it's going to be my last fight. And if I give my word, I have to follow this. It was my last fight here. I know only one thing what I want from UFC Tuesday. You guys have to put me on number one pound for pound fighter in the world because I deserve this. And UFC undisputed, undisputed, undisputed UFC lightweight champion, 13 and all. 13 in UFC, 29 in all my premier. Oh, I think I deserve it. One more thing. Uh, I want to say thank you, Lorenzo, Fertitta. Thank you, Dana, Hunter, all guys. Thank you so much. And of course, I don't forget about Joe Silva, who signed me here in UFC. Joe Silva, thank you. All this UFC team, everybody around the world, this all pandemic stuff, they're doing great show, you know. Thank you so much, Justin. Justin, 2016, I remember when I cut weight, you helped me a lot. Thank you, brother. This is fight without cage. I know you're great, man. I know how you take care of your close people. I know a lot of things about you. Be close with your parents because one day it's going to happen something because you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. You never know. And thank you, guys. Thank you, coach. I love you so much. My teammates, Ali Abdelaziz, Rizwan. Oh, alhamdulillah. Today is my last fight here in UFC. So, and you do so as the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. You go out the way you wanted to as the undisputed UFC lightweight champion. How hard was this week for you overall? It was my father, uh, my father dream. <sighs> what else? Dustin and Connor are gonna fight January. I choke him out, both of them. I'm not interested for this. I'm not interested for this. <sighs> One other thing. И для моих болельщиков, если скажу, для болельщиков с России будет неправильно. Просто скажем для всех русскоговорящих. Большое вам спасибо. В 2008 году, когда я начинал это, и когда в 2012 году я первый раз дрался, подписали в UFC, очень многие не верили, очень многим это было невозможным. Я простой парнишка из обычного горного села Дагестана. Приехал сюда. Вчера мне брат даже говорит, Google сказал, говорит, что ты сам... Просто вы сами представляете, да? У меня даже в голове этого всего не было. Я просто хотел месяц с отцом, просто хотел стать чемпионом. У меня даже в мыслях не было, что вот так все может на мои плечи обрушиться. А, альхамду лилля. Если у вас есть родители, будьте рядом с ними, все. У меня один остался родитель, это моя мама. Я хотел бы побольше времени ей уделить. You have left an indelible imprint on this sport, and we congratulate you as you walk away 29-0. There's only one Khabib Nurmagomedov. We wish you a safe trip home, and uh, we look forward to your UFC Hall of Fame induction in a few years. Congratulations. Thank you so much. DC, I love you, brother. Ladies and gentlemen, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion, Khabib Nurmagomedov. And we step over here and talk to another one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, all class for sick and around. Justin Gaethje, obviously a lot to digest, but your thoughts on the fight as long as it lasted, my man. Man, I, uh, I, felt, al I felt alive. That's why I stepped in here, man. I asked my coaches if they're ready to, to feel alive every time I step in here. And, you know, I'll, again, adrenaline and at least. It was, it's a great feeling, man, but uh, the only reason I stuck here is to give this man praises. I know he was in a bad spot, you know, whether he was or not. He did what he had to do. He took me down. He is very strong. Um, and I know he made his father so proud. Well, this division does not have a champion as Habib steps away, and there's a good chance that your next fight is going to be for a belt. As you look ahead to 2021, how soon would you like to spin this thing forward? I fight for a living. Uh, you know, getting the best thing about getting choked out is, you know, there's nothing really uh, consequential to your health, right. uh, especially long-term health. Uh, that's what I'm always looking out for. I said I have five wars left, and I haven't had one since I said that, so uh, I'm ready for the next one whenever. I'm ready... Uh, I'm in good shape. I don't want to go home and get too fat, so I'd say six weeks, eight weeks. All right, well, we'll let you go. Lower that handicap. You have the respect of this entire fan base. Thanks for sticking around. Any final words? Just because my swing is ugly, I will shoot a 13 handicap for all you mother... What efforts I said, no way. My man. Thank you.
gentlemen, there he is, Justin Gaethje. That post-fight interview was brought to you by EA UFC 4. Available now. Play the free trial this weekend and get Brock Lesnar. Um, I mean, hard, hard to digest. You know, what a fantastic performance. Um, classic Habib, you know, was able to get takedowns. And once he gets the fight to the ground, he is just on a different level. Our jiu-jitsu coach just texted me. Same story. Habib is a different level. Gets to the triangle choke. Justin taps frantically, and somehow the referee didn't see it and eventually goes to sleep. But honestly, if you want to see Justin Gaethje lose a fight, you want to see him go out on his shield as he did today. But um, Habib retiring breaks my heart. I thought we had at least one more before he would be after the fight. Well, Habib was very forthcoming with details, specific details about a lot of the things that he went through this week. But the one thing that he held close to the vest, Daniel, was want him to compete without his father mm -hmm. on this planet earth and he said he had to close this gaethje chapter he did that and uh to his words there's just not anything else for this man to prove and sadly i've, I've met guys like habib before in wrestling olympic champions that walk away at the very top of the sport when you know they have so much more to give and um if he says it i'm certain that we won't see habib again which is heartbreaking you know uh, he, he's such a phenomenal once in a lifetime talent you want to see him in there until he's 40, you know. But if he says he's done, he's done. And we always say appreciate these legends while they're here because you never know when they're going to walk away. The debut was January 20th, 2000.